and team have been waiting for Dragon Splashdown and they will now make their way to the Splashdown location. Our Crew 9 uh, team members will egress from the Dragon spacecraft. Now here on your screen we can see uh, dolphins actually <laughs> who want to come and play with, uh, with Dragon. Now one of the fast boats there in place working to assist And there we do see Crew 9, some happy waves, smiles all around back on Earth. Remember. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew 9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. As Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Again, big smile. <laughs> what an on time splashdown. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. We are getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore. is awesome they have crew nine home just a, a beautiful landing i think many of you heard that uh, back in january the president asked spacex um, what it would take to bring the, this crew home and i will tell you that at the time that that question was asked we were already looking at options what to do with the crew 10 crew 9 um, situation and how we're going to set that up mission is uncrewed or crewed and whatever the next crewed mission is the International Space Station program, the commercial group program in SpaceX came up with the plan that we just witnessed. The Crew 10 launch last week, the docking over the weekend, the undock early today, and then the landing that we just witnessed. Um, you, you know, the thing I think back of this whole time frame is how uh, really resilient Butch and Sonny were the whole time. I mean, they launched on what was going to be a short test flight with the crew flight test vehicle with Boeing. And then they moved very quickly into station increment operations, and they became seamlessly part of the International Space Station. And they did that because they're experienced astronauts, and we had prepared, right? We had flown gloves for them to do spacewalks, and we had flown a lot of components for them. So I think that shows the adaptability of crew members. Months that these astronauts have been, quote, stranded in space. SpaceX adapted as this mission evolved. Um, I appreciate all the kind words. The fact that they flew up on the Boeing vehicle and home on SpaceX. This is a lesson learned for NASA too, such that when we do have Boeing and SpaceX both flying on a regular basis, we need to be, be able to do the opposite too. If we come up on a SpaceX vehicle and have a problem to be bringing people home on a Boeing vehicle.
Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.